Hi, I'm Python trainer Reuven Lerner, and you are watching my Python Standard Library video explainer series. Today, we're going to be looking at how we can add elements to a list. Lists, of course, are mutable data types. So I can say my list equals 10, 20, 30, and I can say my list of 1 equals 999, and sure enough, I have changed my list. I've changed the item at index 1 in my list to be 999. Of course, I can change it to be whatever I want, any Python object. However, traditionally, we use lists for uh, sequences that are all the same type, all integers, all floats, all strings, all functions, all something like that. But I want to show you how you can add to a list, how we can make a list longer. So there are three different ways we can do that. One of them, let's do this, I'm going to say my list equals a list of range 10. And that's going to give us here, actually no, let's do this, let's do 10 to 100 by 10s. And so we can see that my list is the numbers 10 through 90 inclusive. Okay. So let's say I want to add an element. The first way I can do that is by adding one thing. I can say my list append 100. And this adds one item, 100, to the end of the list. And sure enough, if we check, my list now has 100 at the end. What if I say my list append of the list, 110, 120, 130? Well, now we have added that one item, that list, to the end of our list. So our list now has, I guess it would be, you know, len of my list is going to be 11 items. We have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. That's 10 items. And the 11th item is the list 110, 120, 130, which we can see if we say my list of minus 1. All right, so you can use append with any data type you want, but exactly what you give it is going to be added to the end of the list. Now let's say, I'm just going to repeat this here. Let's say I create my list. And I then say, my list append 110, or let's even say 100. So far, so good. But I want to change my list. Can I do this? Should I do this? No, you should not do this. This is a very, very bad idea. Why? Because after I do this, right, Python's not going to give me any errors. What is the value of my list? Huh, nothing. What's the type of my list? It's none type. If I print my list, I'm going to get none. Meaning, the result from mylist.append, the return value from mylist.append is none. And this is true as a general rule for methods that change objects in Python. If we're running a method on a mutable data type, such as a list, and it changes the mutable data type, such as the list, then the return value is none. So all you have to do is say mylist.append. I can say here mylist.append of 100. Now we check my list, and sure enough, it has changed. We don't, this is just to see it, but the append method itself does it. So in this line above here, what happened was I said mylist.append100. It actually added it to the list, but the return value from that method call was assigned back to my list, not what you want. So don't do that in general. Okay, so way number one to change our list is to add something to the end. What if I want to change, what if I want to add multiple things like we tried before? Then I'm going to try my list extend. And I'm going to say here, let's say 110, 120, 130. And sure enough, my list extend works just like that. What if I say my list extend of just the number 140? That's not going to work. It's going to give me an error saying the int object, 140, is not iterable. So we know from this that basically what's happening is that extend is running a for loop on whatever it gets as an argument. So what's happening is it's trying to run the for loop on this list, and it does, and it adds 110, 120, 130, that's not a problem. It tries to run the for loop on 140, it says, hey, this integer is not iterable, you can't put an integer in a for loop just by itself there, and that's why we get this error message. So append gets one thing, and extend gets a, an iterable of things. And so you can extend with anything you want. By the way, I can say here, my list, let's look at that, my list append abc, Right, so that added A, B, C, one string. But if I say my list extend of A, B, C, now we see that it has added A and B and C separately. By the way, another way to do extend is with plus equal. You say my list plus equal, let's say here, you know, well, let's just do it, uh, you know, 140, 150, 160. Same sort of thing. It's going to iterate over the list. Now it's just like pretty nicely here. 140, 150, 160. There are some slight subtle differences between plus, equal, and extend, but you really don't need to worry about them as a general rule. Okay, so we've got append and we've got extend. We also have one more method, which is insert. So I'm going to once again paste this in here. We're going to see my list. I'm now going to say my list insert, and insert takes two different arguments. It takes a position and it takes a, a, a data type or a, a piece of data. So I'm going to say here 
or I'm going to say 999. So what's it going to do? It's going to insert the item 999 at index 4. Right? So this inserts uh, 999 at index 4. What about what was at index 4 before? And it pushes what was previously at 4 you know, to index 5, to the right. So it's not going to be replacing an element. And so insert in this way is very different from doing the square brackets for uh, uh, assignment. And here you can see I just ran it a second time, so we're going to get 999 twice, once from the first time and second from the second time. So insert is good if you need to modify something, or I should say stick something inside of a list. Not something that I use very often, but definitely something that works. Now in all of these cases, all three of these, append, extend, and insert, we are changing the length of a list. And many times people ask me, what's the difference between a list and an array? So typically the definition of an array is a sequence that has all the same type and whose length does not change. So lists, while conventionally they contain the same type, they don't have to. And they clearly, as we can see here, don't have to stay the same length. All right, that's it for this explainer. I will be back with more of the Python Standard Library in future videos. Don't forget to subscribe so you can get notices when I upload more of them.